Hey, what is up, Con Movie Maker viewers? Nate here with some more Far Cry 4 hype. Welcome to episode 2 of our Far Cry 4 hype and news series, and today we'll be talking about what we want from the Far Cry 4 story. Just the story alone will cover other parts in future episodes. Please note that there will be some spoilers for the Far Cry 3 story in this video. Watch at your own risk. The Far Cry 3 story turned up the campaign recognition of the Far Cry series. Even though that previous games were solid games, Far Cry 3 brought the most dynamic story, location, the largest map, and the best characters of the Far Cry series so far. Far Cry 3 itself brought in high meta scores due to this extremely awesome story. Driven by insanely well done characters such as Herc, Sam, Hoyt, and of course the most legendary of them all, Voss, who is by far one of the best character personalities I have seen in any video game. Will Far Cry 4's story be able to continue in this epic fashion? What are we really looking for in Far Cry 4's story? Personally, in order to deliver with a follow-up to the Far Cry 3's story, Far Cry 4 will need that dynamic villain to replace Voss who was killed in Far Cry 3. So if you don't know, Voss is a character. You'll play the game for 5 minutes and you know how insanely awesome he is. Well, I don't know about insanely awesome, but he's totally insane, which makes him insanely awesome. So far, based on the picture that we have, this purple-suited self-appointed king that is found in the cover picture seems to be in the position to provide the character that community is longing for, the character that will replace the epicness of the epic Voss. Let's just hope that he can install the same definition of insanity that Voss was able to in the previous title. As mentioned in our previous hype video, Far Cry 4 will be set in Kyrate in a Himalayan mountainous setting. I would love to be able to climb to the top of the mountains and just jump off these high points with the glider suit similar to the one in Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 had some awesome cliff jumping gliding spots and I can't wait to see what the more mountainous environment will open up. Implementing the new environment to the game and terrain is something that Far Cry has always done well and hopefully they will continue this in Far Cry 4. Of course this new mountainous region will definitely open up some new game options that I hope to explore when we get some more news in the future. Larger maps are always good. While the Far Cry 3 map was massive, I don't think anyone would complain with a larger campaign map. Of course, with a larger map comes more side quests and missions. One problem I personally had with Far Cry 3 was the lack of difference between some of the side quests. I was looking for more story-driven side quests compared to some of the quote-unquote side quests where you just deliver or hunt uh, different animals. And I, I'm hoping that we can see a little bit different between some of the previous titles. I do wish though that they include those, but I just hope they expand on that. And I hope they add some more story-driven side missions. Developing more story-driven side campaigns will complete the world of Far Cry 4. As we approach closer to the release, I will definitely follow up this episode with a more concise overview of what to expect from the Far Cry 4 story and what I really want to get out of it. Remember that Far Cry 4 is set to release on November 18th, 2014, and the first gameplay and trailer for the game will be shown at E3 on June 9th, 2014. Thank you for watching this Far Cry 4 hype video. Make sure, this is important everyone, make sure to comment down below if I missed anything that you want to see in the Far Cry 4 story. Make sure to check out our other Far Cry 4 news and hype videos in the description below. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.